What's up everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in. Today we have an exciting overview to do for you guys. I have an unboxing of this knife, a disassembly of this knife already. I am an absolute huge fan of this knife and this company. Before we jump into it, if you are new here and you love knife content, EDC content, gear reviews, survival and preparedness content, you are in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you here before you guys head out. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. It really helps the video out. It helps the channel out. I really appreciate it and love it when you guys do. I love talking with you guys down in the comments. So today we have an overview of the AM8 Knives Prayer 2. Now, AM8 is the sister company to Migron, basically. Migron is the main company. AM8 is a bridge off of Migron. Uh, so basically, the same company. They're using similar high-end materials on their blades, on their handles. Uh, one thing about AM8, though, is I don't think I've really seen more of a budget offering from them. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen one from AM8. So I'm wondering if they are their higher quality knives with, you know, where Migron can delve into the more budget range. They have knives down to 50, 60 bucks using 14C and G10. So Migron AM8, they're doing a phenomenal job. I have really, I was pretty, I don't know how to say it. I was pretty enthused with Migron. Uh, I first tried the Centurion 2, which is a higher end model, S90V. It's well done, pretty well done. It's, you know, for the money, it's good. Uh, and then I tried a couple of their more budget offerings, and they're good. Um, and then I got the Pegos 2, which is good. Uh, only one or two of them knives did I have a small nitpick with them. Otherwise, very, very good. They use a range of different handle materials. They use different steels. So I just absolutely love what migron and ama are doing uh and i can't wait to see what they come up with next when i first laid eyes on this knife right here this is the model that i saw the exact version i knew i had to have it uh i it, i love the way it looks and then i love when you see a knife and then you find out the materials like you're already in love with the knife and the way it looks. And then you go into the spec sheet and you see S90V on the blade steel. Milled titanium handles uh, for, I forget what they cost. I, I want to say around 200. I think it's less though. Uh, and that is insane, guys. Uh, a company like, if this said we on the side, we knives, this would easily be a 350, starting at three up past that, you know, a uh, hundred dollars more easy than AMA and Migron are charging, which I really appreciate. Uh, they are, as far as I know, they are doing their heat treats well from the spec sheets that I saw their steels are pretty much where they're supposed to be aligned with aligned with where that steel should be uh roughly and they are doing the right things over there uh you do have a clip point it's a modified clip point blade it clips a little bit uh i'd say more of a drop point it just it does clip a tiny tiny bit uh but i absolutely love this blade shape it has worked very very well you have this nice swedge all the way down to the tip making the tip extra strong on this knife 
uh, and that S90V will just cut forever. The deployment hole is just done spectacularly. You can thumb flick this guy, reverse flick this guy. Uh, the flipper tab is done excellently. Uh, you can light switch it. You can push button it. Just really, really well done. Uh, I don't think, let me look or let me feel. The lock bar is not real sensitive. Now, if you really squeeze on it, it will lock up. But I have not had any issues uh, thumb flicking it, uh, using the flipper tab, obviously not the reverse flick, but it is just done so, so well. Uh, I was looking for a more premium flipper, and that is what initially drew me to this knife, along with that awesome milled titanium handle and the color. Uh, I just, I really like that. And uh, once I saw the S90V, I, I just knew I had to have this guy that you could access the hole from both sides. Uh, I love being able to thumb flick a titanium frame lock. I've said that before. Uh, when it's comfortable and just flies right out of there with the thumb flick, I, it moves up into a new category in my opinion as far as action and just manipulation that puts it on a new scale for me uh, so because there are some knives that are done you could just only reverse flick this and then use the flipper uh, you just couldn't use the the thumb flick on certain knives and it would make the knife so, so much better if you could thumb flick it out. Uh, basically, the lock bar is getting in the way one way or the other on those knives. You're just locking it up and you, you know, you can't do it. Uh, but that is not a problem on this knife one bit. Uh, you don't see any branding except a little emblem there which <laughs> you barely can notice it. Uh, so that's something else that Migron and AM8 are doing well with. Migron or AM8 are into branding the center of the blade, you know, i.e. almost every other Chinese company. Uh, and then you just have the steel marking back there. So awesome on that end of things uh, we'll move into the scale here the hardware is excellent uh, very well done after taking it apart so yes the hardware is steel which is fine with me it i titanium hardware doesn't really steel or titanium on the hardware Eh, don't really matter to me one way or the other. I think you're paying, you know, you're paying a little bit more for the titanium hardware and it's technically softer than the steel. So in the hardware case, I'll take steel, you know, it's cheaper and tougher. So uh, I'll take the steel and lower the price, which is where I think they can knock some cost down on this guy you do have titanium handles though and a pocket clip which awesome awesome uh, they didn't try to cheap out on the pocket clip uh, it wasn't an afterthought they didn't put a wire clip they didn't put some hunk of junk on here they put a nice wide milled titanium pocket clip on here anodized it it definitely holds its retention. It is a nice, strong pocket clip. You definitely have to mean to pull this out of your pocket. I think that will loosen up over time though. And you could, you know, theoretically just bend it uh, back a touch, but uh, 
it's fine with me. I haven't had any issues with it. And I've had it in sweatpants, gym shorts, you know, and it hasn't bothered me one bit. Uh, there are other knives out there that are easier to take out of the pocket, but you know, uh, either way, that's kind of, as long as I can get it out of my pocket, which it's not bad. Uh, let me see. I'm wearing thicker sweatpants right now on the waistband. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fine. Uh, it is a little tight, but no big deal. Uh, you do have this awesome diamond milling pattern on the flat of the knife and then on this contoured or chamfered side uh, you have these nice milling lines uh, on both sides and on the lock side as well and then that just looks awesome they hit it right here Boom, back into the diamond, diamond. Yeah, it just, it looks clean. Uh, I absolutely love this profile. It's not too thick. It's just the right width, just the right thickness to be ultra comfortable. Uh, if they would have bumped this up, the uh, backspacer up to like here, say, this would be an absolute masterpiece. I mean, it still is, but I mean, if to nail everything, right, that's kind of the goal. Nail every single aspect of the knife while keeping the price good. Uh, and Migaron does that pretty damn well right here. Uh, if they would have moved that up here, you know, given us all, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have to be a full one, but give us like a half and oh my gosh would this you know and anodize it blue just like this and just bring it up here oh that would have been just wonderful uh just amazing and it's still very very comfortable uh but man if they would have included that this would be a back you know it, it would be just I'm at a loss for words how good it would be at that point. It's It would be on another level because uh, they nailed absolutely every single thing to nail. Uh, just great, a great job from AM8 and Migaron. Why don't we go ahead and do a comparison quickly. We'll go ahead and check a few of the specs. That is your Spyderco Paramilitary 2. A little bit bigger. Not, well, a little bit bigger for the PM2. There is your CJRB Ruffian. You can see it's a little smaller than the Prayer 2. We'll put the paramilitary two away and get the O knife freeze two out. You can see there the prayer is a little bit bigger than that guy. Here is the version one Hogue Deca. What am I doing? <laughs> Whoopsies. You can see the prayer is quite a bit bigger than the deca there. And we'll do one last one. The Sakoki from Savivi and Ray Laconico. It is a little bit bigger than the Sakoki. We'll get a quick weight on this guy. Four point eight five. So for a titanium frame lock, uh, that is a pretty good size. I would say that is not bad at all. So you're at like eight and a sixteenth. Eh, it's like eight and an eighth. 
long with a three and a half inch blade, your cutting edge is about three and three eighths or so. Eh. In between three and a quarter and three and three eighths. So pretty much a great size, perfect size. Uh, a very manageable size, very comfortable, very aesthetically pleasing, action's great, material choices are great, the price is great, the action is great, the sounds are typical frame lock sounds, but if you're interested in a fidget beast uh, that looks classy, this is definitely worth a look the action is it's ridiculous no side to side no up or down perfectly centered just very well done i am highly highly impressed with am8 S90V to top off the old cake here. That is just a home run grand slam from Migron. That'll do it, guys. If you hung out through the whole crazy ass video, thank you. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. Help me out with that stuff, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button just down below the video. I'd love to have you here. And I will catch you guys on the next one.